Hello and welcome back to the front. Don't forget, videos go out 6pm EST every Sunday. And if you want to stay up to date with what's going on, go follow Geetsley's Twitter. In this video, we are going to be looking into the uprisings that happened at the three Nazi death camps, Treblinka, Sobibor and Auschwitz. The first uprising happened in Treblinka. In early 1943, an underground Jewish resistance organisation was formed at Treblinka, with the goal of seizing control of the camp and escaping to freedom. They noticed fewer prisoners were arriving at the camp and realised they were next in line for the gas chambers. So on 2nd of August 1943, a Monday, a regular day of rest from gassing, they started the uprising. As it was a day of rest, a group of Germans and 40 Ukrainians had decided to drive off to the River Bug to go swim. The prisoners used this opportunity to silently get into a room full of arsenal. They stole 20 to 25 rifles, 20 hand grenades and several pistols. At 3.45pm, 700 Jews launched an attack that lasted for 30 minutes. They set buildings ablaze, exploded a tank of petrol and set fire to the surrounding structures. A group of armed Jews attacked the main gate and others attempted to climb the fence. The Nazis fought back and machine gun fire from about 25 Germans and 60 Ukrainian Tronikas resulted in near total slaughter. About 200 Jews escaped from the camp. Half of them were killed after a chase in cars and on horses. Some that managed to escape ran as far as 30 kilometers or 19 miles and were then helped and fed by Polish villagers. Of those who broke through, around 70 are known to have survived until the end of the war. Sobibor was the second camp to have an uprising after rumours that the camp would be shut down started circulating around its inmates in the spring of 1943. If it was to be shut down, this would mean all prisoners would be killed. Polish and Jewish prisoners organised an underground committee aimed at escaping from the camp. On the 14th of October 1943, under the cover of night, members of the Sobibor underground committee covertly killed 11 German SS officers overpowered the camp guards and seized the armory. Although the plan was to kill all the SS guards and walk out of the main gate of the camp, the killings were discovered and the inmates ran for their lives. About 300 out of the 600 prisoners involved in the escape managed to escape the camp into the forests, though most were recaptured by search squads. It's estimated that 158 of the inmates died in the Sobibor revolt due to being killed by the guards or in the minefield surrounding the camp. A further 107 were murdered by the SS. 53 insurgents died of other causes between the day of the revolt and the 8th of May 1945, and there were 58 known survivors, 48 male and 10 female. Within days of the uprising, the SS chief, Heinrich Himmler, ordered the camp closed, dismantled and planted with trees. The gas chambers were demolished. Parts of their foundations were covered with asphalt and made to look like a road. But in 2014, four of the chambers were uncovered by archaeologists using modern day technology. Finally, the Auschwitz Uprising happened on the 7th of October, 1944. The uprising was started by the Sonderkommando units. They were the Jews who were forced to clear out the dead bodies from the gas chambers. They realised as they had been witnesses to the killings, they themselves would eventually be killed to hide Nazi crimes. Following an announcement that some of them would be selected to be transferred to another camp, a common Nazi ruse for the murder of prisoners. The Sonderkommandos attacked the SS guards with stones, axes and makeshift hand grenades. As the SS set up machine guns to attack the prisoners in Crematorium 4, the Sonderkommandos in Crematorium 2 also revolted, some of them managing to escape the compound. The rebellion was suppressed by nightfall. In the end, three SS guards were killed, one of whom was burnt alive in the oven of Crematorium 2. 451 Sonderkommandos were killed. 
Hundreds of prisoners did escape, but were all soon captured and executed. Crematorium 4 was destroyed in the fighting, and a group of prisoners in the gas chamber of Crematorium 5, who were about to be gassed, were spared in all the chaos. That's all for this video, I'll leave a few sources in the description below. Please don't forget to subscribe, and check back next week for another video.